Yeah. Well, today is a big day uh, on the S14. Basically, it has an oil leak coming from one of the fittings for the oil relocation, but that oil leak isn't actually coming because there's anything wrong with the fitting. I've tried a couple fittings. There's something wrong with the oil pan. So I gotta get the oil pan off the car. Uh, so basically what I figure is I'm going to use a load bar to hold the engine up, then I'm going to lower the subframe um, and the whole front suspension. And once I do that, it'll allow me to take the oil pan off the bottom of the motor while leaving the motor and trans in the car. So it's not a bad idea, but it's, like a, it's a pretty tough idea. Uh, and I figure since I have the whole front suspension off, I'm going to do all the suspension too. So it's going to be a big day. I'm probably going to, uh, you know, uh, get some help from some friends and that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, we're going to, you know, bang this thing together. It was very difficult to weld in a new fitting to that oil pan. There was, there was just something about the fittings I was trying to use that did not go for it. But eventually, I did get one in there, um, and it seems to not be leaking now, so that's good. So oil pan leaks are taken care of. Galen put most of the front suspension on the car. I'll show you that here. Let me take you through the front suspension a little bit um, before the brakes are on so you can actually see this stuff. So what we've got here is a uh, Function Motorsports extended lower control arm. Um, it's got brand new bushings which you can't really see in there and brand new ball joints on it. Um, this is a Function Motorsports uh, high angle tension rod. If you look at it from the top, it's got a little angle to it which helps clear the wheel. And then we've got a uh, set of, these are Driftworks Geomasters. Um, I literally uh, bought these from a guy uh, who was selling 240 stuff and this was sitting in a bucket. So I bought it. Um, it's got brand new hubs on it uh, for the five lug swap. And then it's got a set of uh, Function Motorsports coilovers on here. They are uh, pretty straightforward, you know, regular uh, coilovers, like re regular quality, nothing crazy. Um, and uh, yeah, so that is the front su uh, suspension setup. I will be using uh, a factory sway bar on here and uh, the steering rack uh, is getting uh, energy polyurethane bushings on it and that should be pretty good in the front. As far as front suspension is concerned, all we really need to do now is, uh, you know, adjust everything. I need end links for the front sway bar. We broke the factory ones, taken them off. Then we'll be ready to put brakes, wheels and tires on the thing. So that'll take care of the whole front of the car, which is nice. That is, uh, 
That's new bearings, um, new hubs with the five lug swab, Z32 brakes. So we took everything out of the rear end um, in preparation for this differential to be welded and all these Function Motorsports uh, rear control arms to go in. Also, I put in the five lug uh, swap with the new uh, hub and bearing. ceramic pads, we have stainless steel brake lines with new hardware, um, we have all function motorsports uh, adjustable arms, we have a new wheel bearing uh, with the five lug swap, you can see it's a five lug now, um, and I am about to put in these uh, function motorsports coilovers and then I will also put in the rear subframe collars and then the rear of the car will be done.